Join me live on August the 25th when I will be co-hosting a live 90-minute online satsang with the incredible Shelley Reamer. Together we provide life and business coaching. Shelley channels messages directly from your spirit guides and I read your energy field and share the images and interpretations I receive. Starting on the 10th of September, Shelley and I are co-hosting a course in how to channel your spirit guides. Spread over four weeks, we will teach and guide you into connecting and channeling messages from your guides. Register now via my website. Links to both events are in the description box below this video. Hey everybody, welcome to today's reading. I hope everything is going brilliantly in your world. Welcome or welcome back to the channel. It's amazing to have you here and we are going to see what's going on today. We have got a lot of um, strong, high vibration energy today. Some of my favourite cards have come out. And we've got dragons and dragon eggs. Something is about to hatch, something where your energetic pattern or energetic frequency is right for something to happen. We have got here stranger and curiosity. Straddling worlds, wandering between realms. It's an interesting combination to start with. And we have got courage. Comparison will steal your joy and distract you from your purpose. Be content with your uniqueness, beauty and value. There is a place in this world meant solely for you. Commit to your own journey. And prosperity. As you release your concerns to me, I support your material well-being so that you may devote your energies to your spiritual journey. Ask me for help and my blessings will transform your world. Okay, I'm still not 100% sure what this is about. It's um, really, really fascinating energy here, the stranger and straddling between the worlds. Okay, guitar, something about singing your own song and a key. Okay, so there's some kind of key here, maybe a key to your prosperity, having the courage to sing your own song, to share your voice, to write your music, to create your art, to write your book, to just express yourself the way that you truly want to express yourself. And there's a key to prosperity in that. But here, curiosity and wandering between the realms is not yet certain what these are about. Trust. And diligence. Okay. I'm just going to keep going because... So far, the message isn't yet emerging, but that's okay. Sometimes it's really obvious. Sometimes it just takes a little while. So I'm going to get three of those. There. We have got the Four of Swords, the King of Swords, the Star, the Four of Wands, and the Eight of Cups. The Four of Wands, which is the stability, the celebration, the can be about marriage, it can be about just comfort. Um, that featured very prominently in a message a couple of days ago. It was like a central energy. I think you're becoming more and more certain in allowing yourself to shine and walking away from what doesn't suit or serve you. And and there's a combination that goes on there. The, the the more the more famous you become, or the more high profile you become, or the more confident that you become to be very, very true to yourself, the more that you have to be pretty clear about what you don't want in your world. You know, you're you're raising your vibration and people with a low, lower vibration, and I don't mean vibration in comparison people who haven't tuned into their own uniqueness will find that challenging inside of you. And people who are not meant to be with you because they can't cope with your intensity because the, the more you're in tune with your own energy, the more intense your capability is, people will fall away. But sometimes you just have to walk away from something and not worry about it. And you'll find a lot of stability in that, but it can be, what's the right word? Um, uncomfortable to start with because that's not what Pisces does. Pisces likes to please. Pisces energy wants everybody to be happy. 
and in the process we are very capable of destabilizing our, destabilizing ourselves in order to try to stabilize other people but there's a real clear message here that as you're becoming more and more as a confident prominent able to do what you want to do shining your light into the world the way that your soul has come to this world to shine your light you have to be more certain about turning your back on things that don't serve you letting go just cutting the losses just abandoning abandoning trying to solve and save other people trust in the process of self-love and self-discovery trust that as you turn towards self-love and you recover your sense of self because you've chosen this path you've chosen a path to tune inwards as opposed to go out and try to please other people as you tune inwards more and more and you're trusting yourself and you're trusting the universe more and more and you're trusting yourself to speak your own truth and you're trusting in your own uniqueness that is actually going to bring you more stability but you'll you will be tempted to destabilize yourself by allowing other people to influence you What's going on over on here? We've got the King of Swords and Diligence. I'm going to say I'm not 100% sure yet. I'm going to get more cards here to, to justify this, uh, justify to clarify this. But there is a sense that the more that you speak your truth, the more courage you have here. The King of Swords is a very courageous energy. He's a He's got a lot of, I say he because it's a king, but the gender, tarot doesn't read for gender. So this energy of this card has a lot of, a lot of truth, a lot of mental power, a lot of courage to be really, really clear about what it is that they want. Okay, I'm going to keep going. I'm fascinated by this reading, Pisces. It's um, making my brain work harder than some of the, some of the readings we've had. <laughs> Sometimes it happens like that. Great adventure, take a risk, venture forward with trust and valiant courage, courage again, take action with passion. There's something that you're after, there's something that you want to do, there's something that you have your heart set on, something that's going to give you a lot of stability, it's going to raise your profile, it's going to make you stand out from the crowd. It means letting go of your fear of not doing it. And it's something to do with the metaphysical world, the energy world, the healing world, channeling perhaps. And there are people who are very, very curious about what you're doing. They're very interested in what you're doing. But you have this fear of being seen, of fear of being heard. Okay, we've got the lovers. Ace of Swords. People are going to love what you're doing. The Lovers, as I'm sure many of you will know, is a card of potentially very romantic relationships. It can also be a card of making choices about interacting with other people. Some people describe it as a card of choices, but it's it's not a card of choices. It's a card of making a choice to interact with someone else who will change the course of your life. You change the course of each other's life. So the choice is, do you partner or do you work with somebody or do you change who you are because of somebody? And Pisces, we have been interacting as lovers to almost every relationship we've ever had because we choose to change who we are because of somebody else. Okay, so when you choose to put yourself first, you're also making that choice to put yourself first, to put what it is that you love first, doing things with people that you love, doing that first. We've got these two boats here. Trust in the great adventure take a risk and venture forward and it's going to be in calm waters. It's going to be very smooth sailing. Here with the Ace of Swords and the King of Swords, either King of Swords is going to come in and, clar and, and communicate to you, somebody who's going to really speak the truth, or you're just very, very clear that you're prepared to talk, talk the talk that you want to talk. <laughs> Clarity, new ideas, expressing yourself with courage. It's like you've been doing the homework. Oh, okay, I'm starting to get this now. All right, I'm starting to get this. 
you're very interested in something that not everybody is interested in or not everybody is understood or heard. Like if you're in the, into energy and your healing and metaphysical world and you're interested in tarot, there's a lot of people who aren't interested in it or they just don't get it and they don't realize how energy works. However, you've been doing your homework, you've been studying it, you've been studying something, you've been studying something that's really, really important to you. You've been you've been learning about energy with diligence and you're prepared to speak about it. You're prepared to communicate about it. You're prepared to take the leaps of faith that mean that you're going against the grain, you're being courageous, you're a you're at the front of a wave of change where people are starting to be much more interested in energy and straddling the world, um, perhaps mediumship, perhaps, as I said, tarot reading, perhaps things like animal communication where you can receive energy or you can receive messages or you want to learn how. And you're creating opportunities for yourself and this is going to make you feel really, really like right. You see hope in this. You see a hope for a future that's just going to be lovely. It's going to be a great adventure. You're going to do things that you love with people that you love. And because you're prepared to take the brave step to be open about it, to sing your song, there's a key to prosperity opening up for you and people are curious about what you're doing. Okay, whew, that was a big message. Empathy. I'm open to seeing both sides of a situation and happiness. I'm aware that being happy means that I'm on the right path. Okay, you're feeling something. I'm just going to get that. I'm going to get one of these. Empathy and happiness. There it is. Closing door completion. There is an, there is an end to you worrying about what other people think about what it is that you do because it makes you happy. we got the dolphins here. We had two dolphins appearing yesterday. It makes you happy. It brings you joy. You know what it is that you can do. Like, you know, you know that you have an energetic gift. You know that you have spiritual gifts. You know that you have creative capability. And you can feel it. You can feel the need for it in yourself and you can feel the need for it in other people. And although you have a lot of empathy for people who don't get it, you're also not prepared now to use that empathy to stabilize other people you're going to use that empathy to stabilize yourself and trust that the path that you're on is the path that's right for you and you're going to trust that your hard work your diligence your thoughtfulness your ability to try to seek answers for yourself is going to be the right thing for you you're prepared to communicate what it is that you know. You're prepared to sing your own song. And there is a key to prosperity here coming for you, Pisces. We've got a mermaid, emotional depths. Okay, You're prepared to sing your song like a siren and the star. You're now about to rise your star. Pisces, what I'm getting from this is really exciting. What I'm getting from this is that you're closing the door firmly on not being yourself. And you are absolutely saying my happiness lies and my prosperity the key to my prosperity lies when I start to express and speak the truth of the adventurous world that goes into the metaphysical the wandering between realms the curiosity you are attracting other people's curiosity because you are so certain that there is more to life than what we have been taught and you know this and you're making choices that are right for you to be with people who get you to walk away from people who don't get you and to find the stability and the certainty that comes with you starting to be very, very clear about what it is that you have to say, who you're going to say it to, summoning up the courage to sing your own song, okay? And the light's just gone out. Closing that door. I'll probably go uber bright in a minute because I'll put some more cards on, okay? So the auto light is just adjusting. So very empowered very certain coming into focus bringing into focus what is right for you closing the door on hiding away your psychic and spiritual and intuitive and creative gifts many masks the authentic self wow and i have the needle and in intentionality wow talk about focused right what else have we got that one at the bottom wants to come out 
And that one. Um, put that one there. The phoenix rises into joyful abundance. Wow. And you are perfectly imperfect. I feel like this one wants to come in the middle. Wanted, universe creators. <laughs> Look at that. Cells, organic, body, specs, planet, solar system, galaxy. You're creating a new vision of the world for other people. And you're very, very intentional about this. You're taking off the mask that you have worn for so many years to try to fit in, to fit the mold, to please other people. And now you are working with the universe. You're working with the energy of creation, of creating a new world where people understand that there is more to life than the material world. There is an emotional world and there is a spiritual world. There are people with so many talents and so many gifts to read and understand and feel and experience and explain energy. And Pisces, so many of you have those gifts and so many of you are seeking them because even just the drawing to you of tarot is an energetic exchange. We've got strength. We have got judgment and we have got the nine of cups. Your strength is bringing you so many choices. So, you know, there's a big self-realization. There's a big, and this really is a card of choice with, with judgment, um, where the lovers is about choices with people. Judgment is about choices that you realize that you have because of your own capability and your gifts. So you have the, the strength here to unmask yourself to 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 share the real you because the real you is wanted by so many by the universe and you don't have to be perfect at anything there's no definition of perfect so many of us hold ourselves back because we're like oh goodness nobody's going to like my creativity it's like well somebody will people will there are how many billion of us now on the planet Being imperfect is just being human. Death, rebirth, wow. Ten of cups, wow. Nine of ten of cups, wow. Okay, seven of pentacles. And we've got the world. What a set of cards. Oh my goodness, what a set of cards. All right, the patience that you have decided to take, Pisces, the, the rewards are paying off. Your growth and patience and gratitude for finding finding energy, finding finding experiences that are against the trend. You're creating the trend. You're creating a new world. You're raising awareness of people having to go through like transformational processes to find happiness because Happiness is something that comes from the inside, from finding that connection to your emotions to start with. So we get out of our head and out of our intellect and connect to our emotions. And then we find our inner strength. We go through a rebirth process. We find our inner strength. We have we awaken to just how amazing we are. So I want you to all awaken to how amazing you are because you are 10, 10, 10, 10. You are amazing. And you find this sense of, Happiness and abundance inside of you because you've been seeking it on the outside, you find it inside of you. And all of that patience and growth will bring you prosperity into the world. Okay, and end of the cycle, end of a cycle, you're making peace. I am a being of love and releasing all negative energy. You're at peace with who you are and you're in balance. Wow, Pisces, this is amazing. I bring a state of perfect harmony into the world and I do so without judgment. We've got the world in judgment. You're balanced, you're at peace, you understand yourself, you're connected to your soul, you are in a very creative space, the authentic self. We are at peace and in balance when we are connected to our authentic self. And we are we are who we are. You're perfectly imperfect. You are exactly who you are. And that brings joyful abundance. We've got the nine of cups and the ten of cups, the cards of abundance. Release. And purification. Wow. There is a, with this intentionality and this recent release, there is a, 
there's a pureness of yourself here, the authentic self and the purification. There's a pureness of yourself that I feel you're now ready, like really ready. I mean, we say, oh, we're ready for something new. We're ready for a new start. And then there's just layers and layers and layers. But I'm just getting this sense of such certainty about who you are. Really, really being balanced and at peace, like things that would normally disrupt you, things that would normally upset you, don't upset you in the same way as they used to. That they're, they're, when people trigger you, you or things that would have normally triggered you by people perhaps being rude or judgmental or um, jealous of you or making claims about you, something that would have triggered you in the past because you're like, oh, I need to try and stabilize these people so that I can feel stable. You're just like, mm, well, they can be who they want to be. I just release them because I'm at peace. I release that energy. It can go and do whatever it wants to do. And you have an intense, you have an intention to have like purely joyful and balanced experiences and help other people find the same. Wisdom, sharing your wisdom. Gosh, Pisces, you are a gift. Your wisdom is off the charts. We have got the six of wands victory. And we have got the seven of pentacles again. No, that's the six of pentacles. I beg your pardon. Okay. You're going to have some kind of victory. We've got two sixes. Sixes are about harmony. They're also about peace. They're about cooperation. Your wisdom is bringing you some kind of inflow, some kind of abundance, some kind of windfall. The six of um, pentacles tends to be like a bonus or an unexpected an unexpected inflow of money. And the Six of Wands is, is a, a card of victory, success, accomplishment. You're, you're releasing your wisdom out into the world. You're releasing your spiritual wisdom out into the world, or you're releasing your energetic or creative wisdom out into the world. And that is bringing you good fortune. It is bringing you an inflow of money, sudden and unexpected inflow of money. Because you are in this place of energetic balance as your authentic self. Okay, all right, I'm repeating myself. I'm just quite amazed at how balanced I'm feeling in your energy. And it's very, very lovely. And all of this joy, you just want to find joy. You just, you can't be bothered with people who are not enjoying. You can't be bothered with people who want to disrupt you. You just, you just, it's like, poor them. It's like, did they really feel like that? Then poor them, you know? Good luck. Good luck to people who want to be out of balance. I'm not going to try and fix them anymore. I'm going to just work on myself. Do the things that I love doing. Lay of the land, ancestral wisdom, and empty well, time to replenish. Okay. For many of you will have um, running low on emotional nourishment. Some of you might be running low on financial nourishment. Stand still, lay of the land, stand still. And patience again. There's this, gosh, there's this quiet, calm, balanced, certain, solid energy in today's reading. It's like there's, there's this, a sense of self an acceptance, but also a, a, I'm getting a fiercely burning passion of intention to use this calmness in a way that is fruitful for you and supportive for other people, but not yet. Reaching your destination, your light is shining brightly. Yeah, wow. Rainbow blessings, blessings are showering your life. We had, crossing the finishing line, we had the, um, uh, you know, positive outcome for something. Over the last two or three days, we've had this kind of push to find who you are, that connection to your inner self. Trust your path. 
That's amazing. We've just had that. I set upon you your life path again and again until you realize the passion within your heart is my passion for you too. Trust in your path, trust in what you love, reaching your destination. Look at that right next to the path, trusting your path. You've trusted your path, Pisces, and you're you're at a point where you can stand and say, I, I got somewhere. Self-liberation, self-liberation, sorry. Nothing could do, nothing you could do would cause me to turn away from you. Liberate yourself from judgment. When you choose to believe you are worthy, you empower my grace in your life. That's the path that you've been traveling to try to find the self-liberalization and li liberation, liberalization, I'm sorry, I can't say the word. Liberation, self-liberation means uncovering your authentic self. As I said, not the, we have so many layers that we have, to, we have to adopt and grow in order to make ourselves adapt and fit in. Eighth house and mystery, Aries and act, and square, semi square, punk and tension. Mystery, act, tension. Okay. King of Pentacles and Eight of Wands. Okay, I think uh, I think a King of Pentacles wants to come in and message you. Okay, they're they're feeling and seeing the mystery, and they want to act. It's causing them tension. I think that's quite straightforward. Whoever King of Pentacles is to you, they could be okay, male or female, a a mature energy. Somebody who's very, um, very determined, a good leader, somebody who could be quite prosperous, or they're they have the or uh, aura, yeah, aura of somebody who's definitely in control of themselves. Wants to message you eight of wands. So they want to act quickly. There's some kind of tension. Blessings are showing your life. They're coming in with a blessing for you. They're about to act. They see you as an incredible mystery because they see your light shining. Okay, so that could be a boss coming in. It could be somebody who's just wanting to order something from your business. It could be, it could be a parent. It could be anybody. Um, but somebody is there's there's a tension building up. They're going to help you replenish this well. Your patience is paying off. Somebody perhaps wants to buy something off you, or they want to offer you a job, or they want to offer you with that six of um, um pentacles they want to offer you a bonus time to replenish somebody's going to bring something to you and the reason it's happening is because you're just bringing yourself to, into a base of calm a standstill balance patience trusting your path liberating yourself from having to push to please other people to be seen three of cups strength again and the hanged unicorn some of you might be have put a lot of effort and energy into creating a, a friendship group or a community, a soul tribe. Or somebody just wants to have fun with you. You just want to have fun with other people. The hanged unicorn have the strength to put down your striving and trust that you're at a place where it's time to take stock. Your patience is being rewarded, Pisces, with fun times and with emotional emotional happiness time to take a bit of time to rest your strength is being replenished your physical strength is being replenished your perspective your your ability to see you yourself clearly about how amazing you are that's being replenished you're going to have some good time with some friends and the King of Pentacles is coming in. Speedy, speedy, speedy stuff. Very fast. Very excited. They're, 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 they're excited. There's some tension going on. They want to tell you something. They want to act. They want to come towards you because you're, you're a mystery to them. How can you be so balanced and, and calm? Oh, my goodness. We've got the Eight of Wands again. Okay. Expect something coming in fast as a message. Page of Wands. 
another message. Okay. Somebody, people, many people are very curious about what you're doing. People want to engage with you, Pisces. And they want to engage with you because you're in a place where you're so balanced and so calm and so certain of yourself, so liberated that they want to know how and why. It's a mystery. And you're getting there because you're touching your emotional body and you're touching your spiritual body. Failure. I understand that a, make, a, a mistake is only an opportunity to learn. And that's uh, rebirth. I'm learning that endings are merely beginnings. Wow, these are strong energies to start with. You embrace failure. You embrace rebirth. And that, that's what's making you so unique and so special. And people are, are like, oh, I'm such a failure. And it's like, yeah, but look how you grow from it. There's no such thing as failure. It just isn't. You understand that it's an, an opportunity to learn and it no longer bothers you. Mistakes are no longer bothering you. You just see them as transformational steps. Just merely new beginnings. Let me take those off because they feel quite a strong energy, but the empty well, time to replenish, Pisces. You've got this wisdom. You've climbed to the top of the mountain right now, okay? Your patience has taken you there. You've been on a path that's been very, very, very challenging to get to. Not many people are brave enough to do that. You're there. You've liberated yourself or you're about to. trust. You're trusting your path. Blessings are sharing your life. Something is about to replace this empty well, okay? Emotional, spiritual, financial, three cups, loving, loving things. Your strength is going to be returned very, very, very quickly, very quickly. Two eight of ones in the same message and look how the lights come on now. Okay, just dim that down so you can see it. Very speedy things are about to happen because you have reached a pinnacle. You're at the top of a path. You're at the top of an understanding about yourself and because you're in just this incredible, incredible energy of peace, harmony, balance. Stand still and let it arrive. It's difficult for somebody. If you think about something moving, it's difficult for something to meet it. When you stand still and you're very present, in the now, in your body, in your aliveness, and you're very patient with people and places around you, that's how energy can reach you. Energy that's meant for you can reach you. When you're constantly in motion and constantly trying to move and strive and trying to figure out who you are, then it's more difficult for things to reach you. Okay, so something very um, interesting, exciting, many things that are going to replenish you are about to arise, arrive at speed, Pisces. How exciting. Okay, take care. Bye.